Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video brought to you by the Investor Bros Academy. In today's video, we will discuss a new trading indicator called the RSI or Relative Strength Index. We will discuss what the RSI is, we'll talk about bullish and bearish RSI swing rejections and how you can interpret them. And we'll provide examples of how you can use the RSI to improve your trading quality. So if this is what you want to learn more about, stay with us until the very end of the video. And if you missed one of our previous videos where we discussed candlestick patterns or the volume indicator, we recommend that you also watch them in the playlist linked below. If you liked the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe so we can reach out and teach more and more people. And also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button so we'll know when we post a new video. What is the Relative Strength Index? The indicator was originally developed by J. Wells Wilder Jr. and introduced in his 1978 book New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems. Wilder gave traders a quantitative edge through research and the invention of new technical indicators that measured price movement and added a new dimension to price charts. It's quite amazing to think that Wilder did all of this by hand in 1978 with no charting package computer, or even without an Excel spreadsheet to use. As we mentioned, one of the many indicators he came up with was the Relative Strength Index, or RSI, which is a momentum indicator used in technical analysis. It measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate if an asset is overbought or oversold. The RSI is displayed as an oscillator, a line graph which moves between two extremes with minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 100. Traditional interpretation and usage of the RSI are that values of 70 or above indicate that an asset is becoming overbought or overvalued and that the asset may be primed for a trend reversal or corrective price pullback. An RSI reading of 30 or below indicates an oversold or undervalued condition. The calculation of the RSI indicator can be quite technical and we won't review it in this video. But if you want to learn more about the calculation method, check out the article which covers this topic in full. Interpretation of the RSI indicator Generally, when the RSI surpasses the horizontal 30 reference level, it's a bullish sign. So, in your mind, you should start thinking about buying the asset. And when it slides below the horizontal 70 reference level, it's a bearish sign. Similarly, in this scenario, you should start thinking of selling the asset. And we know, selling in an uptrend when you see daily price increase is hard, but it's the best moment to do so. A price correction will likely come, and given patience, you will have time to re-enter the market at a more opportune moment. During trends, the RSI readings may fall into a band of range. In an uptrend, the RSI tend to stay above 30 and should frequently hit 70. During a downtrend, it's rare to see the RSI exceed 70, and the indicator frequently hits 30 or below. These guidelines can help determine trend strength and spot potential reversals. For example, if the RSI can't reach 70 on a number of consecutive price swings during an uptrend, but then drops below 30, the trend has weakened and could be reversing lower. The opposite is true for a downtrend. If the downtrend is unable to reach 30 or below and then rallies about 70, that downtrend has weakened and could be reversing to the upside. Trend lines and moving averages, two indicators we will cover in future videos, are helpful tools to include when using the RSI in this way. Okay, but you may ask, how can I use the RSI indicator to my advantage? How can I improve my trading by using it? To do this, let's look at an example and also introduce the concept of RSI divergences. A bullish divergence occurs when the RSI creates an oversold reading followed by a higher low that matches corresponding lower lows in the price. In simpler terms, the RSI indicator is in an uptrend, but at the same time, the price is in a downtrend. This indicates rising bullish momentum and a break above oversold territory could be used to trigger a new long position. A bearish divergence occurs when the RSI creates an overbought reading followed by a lower high that matches corresponding higher highs on the price. 
let's look at two situations where you can use the RSI to your advantage. These are called RSI swing rejections. These trading techniques examine the RSI's behavior when it's re-emerging from an overbought or oversold condition. This next signal is called bullish swing rejection and has four parts. Firstly, the RSI falls into the oversold territory. Secondly, the RSI crosses back above 30. Thirdly, the RSI forms another dip without crossing back into the oversold territory. And lastly, the RSI then breaks its most recent high. As you can see in the chart, the RSI indicator was oversold, broke up through the 30 level, was rejected to a higher low point, then broke through to a new higher value. Use this to your advantage. An RSI evolution like this can indicate future bullish momentum and it may be an opportune moment to open a long position or close your short positions. A helpful tip is to draw trend lines on the RSI chart as you would draw on the price chart. Another example is the bearish version of the swing rejection that looks like the mirror image of a bullish version. A bearish swing rejection also has four parts. Firstly, the RSI rises into the overbought territory. Secondly, the RSI crosses back below 70. Thirdly, the RSI forms another high without crossing back into the overbought territory. Lastly, the RSI then breaks its most recent low. This scenario can indicate a bearish downtrend, so you may want to look for an opportune moment to sell your asset or open a short position. As with most trading techniques, both signals will be more reliable when the longer term trend confirms this. Remember, we spoke a lot about looking at the macro or high level trend. And this is applicable here especially. A bullish swing rejection in a general uptrend can be a strong buy indicator. Similarly, a bearish swing rejection in a general downtrend can be a strong sell indicator. If the overall trend does not confirm the short term bullish or bearish rejection swings, be cautious as the overall trend may quickly overcome the short-term indicators. Limitations of the RSI The RSI compares bullish and bearish price momentum and displays the results in an oscillator that is usually placed beneath the chart. Like most technical indicators, its signals are more reliable when they are confirmed by the longer-term trend. True reversal signs are rare and can be difficult to separate from false alarms. A false positive, for example, would be a bullish crossover followed by a sudden decline in the stock's price. A false negative would be a situation where there is a bearish crossover, yet the stock's price suddenly goes up. Since the indicator displays momentum, it can stay overbought or oversold for a long time when the asset has significant momentum in either direction. Therefore, the RSI is most useful in an oscillating market where the asset price is alternated between bullish and bearish movements. To conclude, the RSI provides traders with signals about bullish and bearish price momentum, and it's often plotted beneath the graph of the asset's price. An asset is usually considered overbought when the RSI is above 70 and oversold when it's below 30. Look at the RSI in conjunction with price evolution. Look at the high-level trend. Look for diverging RSIs to give you a buy or sell signal. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and found the information useful. Don't forget to share, leave a like and subscribe to help us reach more and more people out there. Bye!